Hi everyone, my name is Oinye and welcome back to my kitchen. I know it's been a minute and I apologize for being away for so long. Let me welcome you back with this Nigerian smoky party jollof rice. For this recipe, we are going to use some oregano, rosemary, thyme, some bay leaf. We'll be using the Maggi jollof seasoning, some vegetable oil, some chopped onion. We'll be using tatashe, that's the red bell pepper. I'm using four of that, two scotch bonnets, four cayenne pepper, that's shombo, and three tomatoes. These tomatoes, I just brought them out from the freezer, hence it's that way. I'm using two onion also. I'll also be using some dry tatashe, that's the dry bell pepper. I'll be using tin tomatoes, garlic, margarine. And for this recipe, I'm going to be using chicken stock. I have four cups of rice here, Nigerian rice. Let me take you through how I wash my rice. I like to add salt to the rice, massage the salt into the rice, run room temperature water over it and wash it for at least four times. Thank you so much for all your subscription. Thank you for all your messages on IG. So many people recommended I start up my YouTube channel and I'm back here again. Please tell your friends about my channel and tell them to subscribe. Thank you so much. Remember to turn on your bell icon to get notification anytime I upload a new video. So I'm just washing the rice with room temperature water. Here I've added a bit of hot water. I'll add the room temperature water to it so I dilute it a bit and wash it for the final time. I didn't record all the washing process but I washed it with hot water twice and ran um, the room temperature water over it and it's clean and ready to be used. I'll just pour this over the colander and allow it to drop water. Now I'm going to add my pepper mix into the pot. I won't be adding water to this. I'll add everything, the tomatoes, the tatashe, the onion, shombo. Um, cayenne pepper, the dry and the fresh one. I'll cover and allow it to simmer away. From the video, you can see there is little or no water underneath it. I'll blend and set aside. Now I'm going to add my margarine, allow it to melt for a bit and heat up. Add my vegetable oil and then onion. I'm going to fry this onion until it's very fragrant until it's almost brown from your screen you can see it's almost brown and well fragrant at this point if you don't like onion you can reduce the quantity but what's jollof without onion please remember to wash your bay leaf I'll add my garlic and fry this mixture for a bit to open up the flavor in the garlic and also the um, bay leaf I'll add my tin tomatoes and I'm going to fry this properly until all the tanginess from the tomatoes it's gone. Now I'm going to add my pepper mix. As you can see, it's thick and dry. So I'll fry it for just a few minutes, maybe two minutes, because it has no water in it. I had boiled it earlier on. Now I'm going to add my um, jollof mix. I'll add the seasoning I showed you earlier on and fry this for a bit. I'll add salt also and fry this for a bit, not for too long. Now it's properly fried. The ingredients are um, mixed properly. I'll add my drained rice. Remember, I didn't parboil this rice. I just washed it with hot water and drained it out. I'm going to coat every grain of this rice with the tomato sauce. From, you, from your screen, you can see that it's completely coated with the tomato sauce. I'll add my chicken stock to it. 
now for jollof rice you do not need to add too much water you soften your rice with steam and not water hence i'm going to add just a little bit of water to the stock to come up to the level of the rice and we'll start cooking i'll cover it up with a tin foil and also a poly bag you can use the poly bag or the tin foil whichever one you're comfortable with and i'll start cooking at this point the rice is soft i covered it and left it for 20 minutes to smoke after 20 minutes, I allowed the smoke sit on the rice for at least 15 minutes before I opened it up and stay staring. From your screen, you can see that the rice is burnt. This is how to get the smokiness into your rice to give you that party feeling. But if you don't want it that way, you can stop at the point where the rice is soft it's completely fine but for that smoky signature taste you have to allow your rice to burn please try out this recipe share pictures with me tell your friends about my channel subscribe turn on your bell icon and comment please share my video to your friends and family thank you so much for sticking by god bless you bye